Number 29. Use the standard entropy data in Appendix G to determine the change in entropy for each of the following reactions. All the processes occur at the standard conditions and they're at 25 degrees Celsius. So we have our reaction right here. We have O2 gas plus N2 gas, which will yield 2 NO gas. Now, in this case, we want to find that change in entropy. Change in entropy, remember, change is that delta sign, that triangle, right? And entropy is always an S value. So we're looking for a delta S. Now, we want to use those standard values in the back of a textbook, right? In this case, it's Appendix G, or whatever, you know, the table is in the back of your textbook. If we're using standard values, that means that we're solving for a delta S notch. The notch or that degree sign up at the top just means that you're using standard values in the back of the book. Now, keep in mind that a entropy value is all about randomness or disorder or chaos that's going on in the system. Now, sometimes we can guesstimate what our change in entropy is by just looking at the states. But in this case, I have one mole of gas plus another mole of gas, and I will yield a gas, and I have two moles. So in this case, if I have one mole plus one mole, that's a total of two moles of gas, but I'm yielding two moles of gas, to me, at face value, there's really no change. I started off with two moles of gas, and I'm ending with two moles of gas. So in this case, it's kind of like a question mark. I can't really guesstimate whether it's going to be a positive or a negative value. That's why we have to do the math sometimes to see specifically what the actual value is going to be, whether we're becoming more random or less random. Let's figure it out. Now, I did go in the back of the textbook for you to find those entropy values. So for O2, you have 205.2 joules per mole times Kelvin. For N2, you got 191.6. And for NO, you got 210.8, right? Now, what are we going to do with those values? Well, we're going to use the standard equation, which is this right here. Whenever you want to find a delta S for an entire reaction, Rxn is reaction, all you're doing is you're summing up. This symbol just means the sum, which is addition. So you're summing up all of your products and minus your sum of all your reactants. So basically it's products minus reactants. Just gotta add them up. Well now are these numbers going to stay the same or are they gonna be different? Well, that's where the balance equation comes in. Now in this case, just like we said before, I had one O2, I had one N2, but I have two NOs. For the moles that you have in your balance equation, that's what you have to times by for your S values. So for example, since you only had 102, you would technically times one by 205.2, but that's the same number. Same thing with the N2, 191.6 times one. Did I say times two? I meant times one, right? Anyway, coming over to NO, now since you have two of these, I have to times these by two, the 210.8 times by two, because each one of these numbers is only for one mole. So whatever number that you have on your balanced equation, that's the number, you know, the coefficient that you have to multiply it by. Now you have to sum them up. Literally in the balanced equation, it's O2 plus N2. So I'm going to take the 205.2 and add it to the 191.6. In this case, since there's only one product, I don't have to add it to anything. I just got to times it by two. So let's go to Calci and see what we get. So for the reactants, it's 205.2 plus 191.6. And what do I get there? I get 3, 396.8. And now I just have to multiply by 2. So 2 times 210.8, I get 421.8. Uh, 0.6 for the product side, 421.6. Okay, now I'm just going to use these values and plug them in into my equation. So the change in the entropy, the delta S standard for the whole entire reaction is the 421.6 minus 
the 398, or actually the 396.8. Okay, let's see. Delta S, that change in entropy for the whole entire reaction. Let's see, I'm going to take the answer. So second minus, let's see, I could just grab that in there. Beautiful what the calculator can do. And we get 24. 0.8 units are the same units as what the, the entropy is. So this would be joules per mole times Kelvin. And in this case, we are increasing in entropy because the value is positive. But remember, when we guesstimated, we couldn't guesstimate. But that's why it's so close to zero. I mean, it's only, you know, 24.8 values, you know, numbers above zero. So in this case, it is becoming more random. That's it, guys. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.